Hi guys, had an interesting comment on one of my old videos where I was looking at the bits and pieces I'd scavenged out of an old washing machine. Uh, the bits I was actually looking at where the comment was was a couple of solenoids or solenoids. In other words, coils of wire in a tube. Um, I think there was actually four of them in the video that were probably um, actuators for various valves or something. Anyway, the comment I made was I shoved uh, one of my screwdrivers in to the middle of the coil and we got a result. And I was just talking about putting an iron bar in there and the comment was it was probably a magnetic screwdriver or the tip was probably magnetic. And I think they were right. But you're still going to get a result simply because you're upsetting the... Uh, oh, I've forgotten now. Well, we'll call it magnetic flux for now. I can't remember. It's, it's Gauss is the measurement of magnetic field. Uh, no, I can't remember everything. Anyway switched on my meter, it's on millivolt range at the moment, so put my screwdriver in there and we get, what's that, about 60 millivolts, depending on how fast I push it in. Oh, I just mentioned, this isn't one of those solenoids that I was talking about, uh, they've long gone. This is actually the coils from a motor. Um, this is out of a... This is the fan motor out of a microwave oven. Or at least it's the coils off the fan motor. They just happen to be a nice set of coils. And this way round they're going the same way right the way across. So putting that in there is generating millivolts. If we switch it all the way around the other way we also generate milliamps. So that's using my screwdriver, which I've got some pins there, and we can see they are magnetic. Or, sorry, it's a magnetic tip. Although, of course, having touched those pins, they are probably magnetic up to a point. Um, I've got a bolt here. If I put that in there, we are getting a tiny amount of reaction. Not very much at all. But if we go on the volts, any volts. So we're getting about uh, 0.3 millivolts just by putting that bolt in there and that that's not picking up the pins just make sure they're not stuck to the surface there no so if that has got any magnetism in it it's not enough to actually register on those pins. Uh, got another bolt there. Not sure what that's... Oh, that... No, I'm not sure what that comes off of. That's not generating anything. Oh, tiny bit. Just the tiniest. Oh, going in the other way. Got the bigger head that's probably going closer to the coils. Yep, generating 3.3 millivolts there. Whatever the next stage is to milli, I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? Scissors. 
Oh, they got a bit of magnetism to them. Yeah, so we're getting quite a significant result there. Put the scissors in there. Okay. Steel ruler. I would have thought that would have had some magnetism. Oh yeah, just a touch. Yeah, put that in. Yeah. Uh, what else have I got? My letter opener. Yeah, we're getting ooh, four tenths of a millivolt then. So I think the point I'm trying to make is we do get um, a voltage generated or a current even when we just use a non-magnetic material or non-magnetized. But the problem is, so much of the stuff that's in my toolbox will have been in contact with a magnet at some time. So most of it will have some sort of latent magnetism on it. Generating. What was that? That was about eight milliamps. Back onto the volts. Yeah. So that's having far more effect than the bolt. Um. Yeah. Oops. It's dropped off. but no apparent magnetism. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do, just demonstrate that we do get a voltage induced or a current induced just by changing the uh, magnetic flux. And I'm probably using the wrong words. And there's somebody else's name that I can't think of at the moment. I might put it in the video description. I was quite impressed with that ruler, to be honest. That's probably a capacitive effect now, isn't it? Just my body involved there. Yeah, when you're measuring tiny amounts, all sorts of things come into play. That's just my body generating millivolts. Magnetic screwdriver. Yeah, I think that'll do. Not trying to prove anything, just demonstrating an effect that you can get and you will get interesting numbers pop up on your meter. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.